Hello everyone, my name is Askia Isa Aurya and I'm from University of Indonesia. And today I'm here, I'm going to present to you my research with the title LAN NCIL Intermodal Network Integration in DKI Jakarta Provinces, Indonesia. For the table of content, the first there is introduction, second there is method that consists of sample and procedure, and the third is result and discussion, and the fourth is conclusion. Introduction Integrating all modes of transportation used to carry people and or products from one location of origin to another uh, destination is known as intermodal transportation. In this intermodal transportation, there has to be integration between modes, so all the modes is connected smoothly. And between the integration, there should be a transport interchange to provide the customer transfer their modes. In that interchange should have good access for everyone, including for disability, toilet, and etc. All of that is for convenience and safety for the customer. And for this research, the aim is to analyze the integration between LAN and C in Kepulauan Seribu Kagensi. In Jakarta, Indonesia, we have LAN and C mode because Jakarta have an island that is Kepulauan Seribu Kagensi. In Kepulauan Seribu Kagensi, it's divided into several islands. As you can see on the maps here, there is Sebira Island, Kelapa Island, Pramuka Island, Panggang Island, Pari Island, Untung Jawa Island, and etc. And all of that island is connected into uh, Muara Angke Port on the right below here. And according to calculation of trip generation and passenger trip attraction in each zone of Kepulauan Seribu Regency, the Jakarta zone has the highest level of both. So they should have a good integration to provide the high level trip of generation. For the interchange, as you can see on the picture, we can just switch from the land mode to sea mode just like that. We need interchange that provide uh, convenience and safety transfers, not to mention all the facility support such as wayfinding, journey information, ticketing, and etc. Method. There is three methods that use in this research. The first is validity test, is to check if the data is valid. And the second one is scalability test to check if the data is scalable. And the third one is structural equation model SAM, partial least square PLS, is to analyze the significance between variables. Sample. The data collected is using questionnaire distributed to user of transportation modes from and to Jakarta to Kepulauan Seribu Kagensi. The sample size is 30 respondents. Although the sample size is 30, this research is still ongoing. The number of sample size is still growing for the better research analysis. Procedure Questionnaire were handed at Muara Angke Port. A Likert scale was employed in this study. Each instrument that used a Likert scale has answered that range from very positive to very negative. In this research, we use two variables, that is independent variable and dependent variable. And for independent variable, uh, we use X1 for infrastructure. The indicator, there is a nine indicator from port, waiting room, toilet, until CCTV. Then for X2, we have time. There is a seven indicator for this from time required to switch mode, existing time, waiting time, until how often trips are made in a week. And then for X3, we have service, and we have seven indicator for this, from the arrival and the part procedure, and then for information, service officer, until security guard. For X4, we have special facilities that consist of seven indicator from the stair facilities, toilet, access road, health room, and until emergency medical equipment. And then for dependent variable, we just use one variable, that, that is Y1, it's integration, that consists of three indicators, uh, that is existing facilities, existing service, and service support. For result and discussion, the first one is validity and reliability. 
In exploratory research for Cronbach Alpha, the minimal predicted value is 0.7. As you can see from this table, from X1 until Y1, the Cronbach Alpha values is all more than uh, 0.7. That it means that the data is valid. And then for the reliability, the value must be greater than 0.7. And as you can see in the table, that all of the values is more than 0.7. That means that all the data is reliable. And then for the average variance extracted or AVE, the expected uh, value is uh, must be more than 0.5. And all of the values here on the table is more than 0.5. This value means that one variable can explain more than half of the variance of its indicator on average. After validity test and reliability test, we move into SAM PLS analysis. After several times running this analysis, we got the grid uh, values that qualify the requirements. Meanwhile, we cut all of the indicator that has values below 0.7. And this is the result. From X1, uh, we just use the indicator 3 until 9. So we cut the port and which port. And then uh, for the X2, we just use two indicator. That is existing switch mode and existing waiting time. And then for X3, we just use three indicator. That is sword access, service officer, and security guard. And then for the X4, we just use four indicator. So we have to cut three indicator. That is, we have to cut nursing mother, prayer, and health room. And then for Y1, we use all the indicator. The existing is integrated or no. And then this is the result for R square values. The R square values is 0 0.242, which indicates that the influence of variable X infrastructure, time, service, and spatial facilities on variable Y or interval integration is only 24% is weak. This is for hypothesis test. If the result are less than 1.96, the hypothesis is rejected. That means that variable X is not significant correlated with variable Y. And as you can see in this table, from X1, X2, X3, X4 to Y1, the T statistic is below 1.96. It means that uh, the hypothesis is rejected. So the variable X is not significantly correlated with variable Y. And for the p-values, if the p-values is less than 0 0.05, the hypothesis is accepted. And as you can see from the table, the p-values is more than 0 0.05. So it means that the hypothesis is rejected. Conclusion. This study rates the physical infrastructure, wait time, surface, and specialized facilities for land and sea intermodal integration in Jakarta. We use questionnaire that consists of many questions for infrastructure, wait time, surfaces, and specialized facilities, and their point of view about the existing integration. We handed out the questionnaire in Muara Angke Port, as you can see in the previous slide before. And then, 30 participants were surveyed to gather information as they integrated. A significance of 24% was found between the independence factor, infrastructure, time, service, and special facilities, and the dependent variable, integration, after some PLS analysis was completed. The results are barely significant. This might happen since the current sample has fewer than 330 respondents which can serve as a starting point for future studies. This study used the minimal participant, that is 30, but the other study found that to use SAM PLS, the participant must be 10 times from the indicator of the variable. Uh, for example, this study has 
33 uh, indicator so if that times 10 it's equal 330 however this study is still ongoing and this is a great input to conduct next research thank you for your attention and this is the references that i use to conduct this research and this PowerPoint.